Hey guys, so we are doing a little road trip right now and Mr. Man here wants to stop Smoothie King. Five minutes into the road trip guys. Five yeah, minutes. it's actually going to take about three hours and a half, three and a half hours to reach up to where we're going to. So um, but I'm making a stop about an hour and something in. And um, yeah, so now we're going to get some Smoothie King for him. We'll see how that is. Never spent Smoothie King before. So yeah, and we live in Fort Lauderdale Much right now. And we are heading to Daytona. Uh, Daytona, Port Orange side of Port Orange. So yeah, let's see how this drive is going to go. Hi guys, we find it. Next to Dunk or next to Dunkin' Donuts? No? But I do not donuts are true. Oh! Alrighty! Smoothie King! Smoothie King! I guess it's a kind of punches. I know, right? <laughs> get it right, get it right. What do you think? Come on, it does taste good. No way! Well, I mean, yeah, you would rather see most, but it still tastes like, it still, still tastes nice. Yeah, this tastes any dates a lot. That's what tastes in so sweet and nice. <laughs> no sugar or anything in it, guys. Dates is the sweetener. So I guess it's healthy. Okay, so wait, so say what it is again. Let's see. Cocoa, 100% cocoa. Dates, blueberries, and banana. Blend it together. No sweetener. And that's it. That's the drink. Smoothies without purpose. Smoothie King. Let me see. And it helped, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it. And cool and nice. So, first stop on your trip, Smoothie King. Mm -hmm. Now, let's, now go. let's go driving again for for how long? One and a half hours. One hour. Mm. Welcome to North 95, guys. So, we got off from exit 27, that's where we were. we were. And we actually stopping off exit 79E. So, how it is in Florida, they have the I 95, which is like their main highway. And the exits are numbered. So like from south you go straight up to north and it's from one numbered all the way up. Every mile is a number. Yeah. So yeah, we just got up from exit 27 and we are heading to we stopping off in 79 and then we're gonna continue. I think the exit, I can't remember the number we're going to now. But can exit it's coming up right to 29. Yeah. So we got so many more exits to pass. Okay hey guys, the last exit I showed you was exit 29. So 10 miles down yours exit 39 39 and as the speed limit is 65 i believe some places and then some places so yeah. like uh basically you're going 65 miles per hour. so it's like one mile a minute it took uh, approximately 10 minutes to drive 10 yeah. miles 10 minutes man. Right. so that's so how we go in so much longer the great thing about here, you have a lot of signs, so kind of have an idea where you're supposed to be shifting. But generally, you're gonna try some tips how to drive on this road, right? <laughs> True. And you stay in the center, or whatever. Well, yeah, so I was trying to get this guy to drive right, but when you're staying on 95 and you're heading north, most of the exits will be on your right hand side. So as you go up, you shift to your left lane because the right lanes tend to end. So you have to keep switching and shifting and then sometimes your left lane like this one will say left lane and ends but the, the, it is a you just have to keep shifting basically so in, inside 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 because if you get taken or if you, if 
you come up one of these rural roads, you have a big circle to make. It's not like back home in Trinidad where you go and you just make a turn in somebody's yard. You miss one of the turn offs, you're going to have to make a big turn. So, yeah. Like it's yeah, people are there, man. Like these motorbike people coming for gas too much, too much. Too. Which one? Else? Looks like it's self-service cars. Oh. Self. All right, so we're gonna watch energy put some gas here, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, Jenna G insisted for gas for herself. <laughs> she in action here, watch she? First thing she got to, she can't open it, she can't take out the thing. Oh, okay, never mind, it's a different one, that's why. Come and see, come and see. This, you just have to push it in there. I've never seen that home. So you just okay. push it there. I can carry a card here. <laughs> I got this. So we have to go inside and pay, guys. The machine wasn't accepting our credit card. We're not sure how much gas to put, so. We have no idea. For like 60 USD, which is. Four hundred dollars worth of gas. This monster, I'm sure, takes more than that. All right, guys. So we all picked up a couple of things. Two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> USD. So we got through. Now we are on the road again. Full tank of gas. Destination Daytona. We have about one hundred and sixty miles again. I was five. I mean, I was 3.30, so, so we should reach there like about 5.30, 5.45. All right. We have no crazy traffic. Can't catch guys, normal <laughs> thing on this road. You can see, see, like like once it have a open thing, like all this bush here you see there, there's actually behind it in there. And before you know it, they just appear behind you. I know, because unfortunately I got the speed of tickets already here. We see about three so far, guys. Yeah. Three tickets and two roadkill. Plenty the other was on this one. Guys, check out this area. Here's a rest area for truckers, anybody with a long drives. And there's a very 
dangerous situation coming oh up here. Goodness. Slow down, slow down. Whoa. Like a truck has caught fire. Okay, people, don't slow down. We don't want anything, you know. This is kind of scary. Exploding on us here. I've never really encountered anything like this, and a guy is walking. Oh Can't my god, it's on fire! Oh my goodness, you all just need to drive quickly. Just need to drive quickly. Alright guys, approaching exit 201. We started this journey at 27. 27. The time is 5 p.m. thereabouts. We made a stop for about an hour or so. Yeah. So we've been driving. We left the hotel just after 12 to 12 30. Uh, we made a stop for an hour, one thirty. So and I was, we've been driving on the road actually for maybe three hours, three and a half hours. Not so much. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, we made a stop. Oh, Small king. I don't know. Okay, but kind of getting lost track. We've been on the road about three hours now. The energy still going strong. Some water, snacks. Yeah, it's after lunch, guys. It's after lunch. We're going to try to take us. But exit 202 way upon us, we have about 60 more things like around. 250 something. 250 something, maybe 50 something. Yeah, yeah. it's just 50 something for sure. So about 55 more miles to go. A little less than an hour. 256, guys. 256. Spruce Creek! So after a few hours of driving, yeah, all the front setting here, you know, guys. Really, the busy, busy areas. Of yeah, this is not a busy area. Miami. Time it's is a nice um. Around six. PM. It's a nice area. We've been on the road officially for five and a half hours. We're not driving, but not yeah, driving. You know. but we stopped to yeah. have our cases. Are we almost We're to the final almost there and that's it. So yeah guys, tired, a little tired-ish. Peace out until the next time. See you guys. <laughs> Okay, so by the way, we just got to where we like our final destination here. And check it out. This is what we came, we, be, we got here too. Nice homemade yumminess. <laughs>